Oh, hey there, lovely. What are you doing? What are you cooking? Taters. Ooh, what's that? Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. And I want to, right off the bat, right off the bat, I want to wish all you guys a very big happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Today is Thanksgiving. Yes, I'm working on Thanksgiving. I'm filming and hunting with Jordan today on Thanksgiving. Most years, my whole group gets together on Thanksgiving morning and we do a huge field goose hunt. Now, there's a reason why we're not doing it today. Probably because it's raining outside, it's wet, it's muddy, it's cold. A weather system finally came in and winter is here, y'all. Actually, a lot of people couldn't hunt today because of Thanksgiving and family. So me and Jordan, we're like, hey, why don't we uh, go check the traps and try to shoot some rabbits today? So he's got a pretty good little cottontail spot and he's got two to three coyote traps, which he has been having amazing luck at. He's already trapped two or three this season. We're going to go check those too. You guys have been requesting that Bobby gets into more trapping. You guys know that I pigeon trap, haven't lately, but we're going to start firing that back up. I want to fire up some beaver trapping, some coyote trapping, some possum, everything above. I want to start some trapping videos, y'all. But first, before we get into the hunt today, today starts Black Friday at DucksWaterfowl.com, y'all. Thermal sandstone hoodies, thermal sweats all of the ducks hats so today on thanksgiving it is 25 percent off all t-shirts y'all so today 25 percent off t-shirts friday is 25 percent off hoodies saturday is 25 percent off hats sunday 25 percent off all the ducks and goose calls and the lanyard sunday 25 percent off yep just like that bad boy right there so a four day long awesome sale telling you guys if you guys wanted to say some jack and pick something up over at ducks this is the time to do it y'all but enough jabbering whoops let's see what time it is seven o'clock i got 30 minutes to meet jordan i'm gonna stop by the quick shop i think i'm gonna get him a little thanksgiving surprise dang look at the fit today you got the overalls on it's cold you got the whole farm look going on hey yeah. uh happy thanksgiving look what i got you well, thank you. A little bit of yummy. That's the so, tradition around here. A little bit of stay alive. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of wake up and stay alive. Mm. Jordan and I were addicted. This is our hunting, everyday hunting treat right here. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. I have no idea how many breakfasts the one single honey bun has served up. Well, I hope you can see both of us. Um, but there you go. <laughs> lean in, Jordan, lean in. But right now it's sitting at 32 degrees, complete cloud cover. It is raining. I think it's going back from rain to freezing drizzle. Rain to freezing drizzle. We're gonna turn left here. Uh, go up to the highway. First. Okay. But Jordan and I were talking yesterday. We we're like, we want to hunt tomorrow morning. It's Thanksgiving, and I wanted to provide a video for y'all. And what better video than just two buddies getting out on the morning of old Thanksgiving and shooting something or trapping something now? I don't have my fur harvester license yet. I haven't trapped, I've never trapped. He has though, and he has his whole trapping bag. He's got all the goodies. He knows what he's doing and I don't. Let's just put it that way. He's gonna shoot the animal. If there is one on the trap, I won't. He will remove it because I don't have my fur harvester license yet, guys. One thing I have to tell y'all uh, on the way here, I was like, something ain't right. I, oh, that's it. I don't have my fur harvester license because I've never done it. So just think ahead. You know what I mean? If I wouldn't have thought ahead, maybe I would have rolled up there and said, oh, we have a coyote on the trap. Blip, and I shoot it. You know what I mean? And then now Bobby's in trouble. So think ahead. That's all I'm saying. We're ready to roll. It's raining. So at any time, if this lens just gets bleh with water or anything, I'm sorry. I cannot help it. I can't shut off the rain, y'all, but we are ready to go. This is uh, Jordan's little trapping bag. He's got a shovel, a sifter. We will go through that in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going after rabbit. There should be some rabbits in here. There should be, possibly, I shouldn't say should be, there possibly is a pheasant in here. This is what we're looking at. Rabbits, he knows that there's some cottontails in here, but there might be a pheasant. 
Well, you ready to roll? Why not? You are? Oh man, it's nasty out. My hands are already frozen. <laughs> my, my fingertips? Yeah, not so good. Yeah. Well, here we roll. Here we roll. Here we go, guys. I'm going to try to be quiet. We're going to go do with some rabbit hunting. Why do you have to be quiet? <laughs> We're hunting rabbits. We're hunting rabbits. I guess you really don't have to be quiet hunting rabbits, do no. you? Them moving is a good thing. Well, that's good because you all know me. I'm a hoop and holler and <laughs> mother duck. Oh. Well, I recommend once we hit this taller stuff, let's walk it that way. Okay. We'll head down to the end of those trees, walk back this way. Right on. This is fun already. This is way better than sitting up 30 dozen, oh. 50 dozen decoys in the rain, isn't sitting it? Sitting on your back wishing that it wasn't raining all the time. Oh. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like doing that, but today this is way better. Oh, yeah. It's All right, let's walk this out. I'll go through the thick of it. Old Thanksgiving hunt. This is what it's all about. Getting out there, trying something new. I hope you guys enjoy this stuff, because I sure do. See, Jordan, he grew up doing this stuff out here. He's been rabbit hunting his whole life. Me, I've been bird hunting my whole life, and that's it. So it's nice of Buddy getting you into something new, you know what I mean? Now we've shot rabbits, but Jordan has some good spots. Don't pump it up too big. <laughs> He's like, do not put me on the spot like that, Bobby. Don't He's got you good spots. We didn't do anything again. <laughs> oh, I know. Leave it up to Bobby just to jinx the whole thing. Oh, this is pretty thick. They'd like to be in here, wouldn't they? Yeah. Come on now. Come on, you wascally you wabbits. Now, y'all probably recognize this place. A lot of my long subscribers. This is where Jordan and I came this summer and we shot starlings, pigeons. Sparrows. Oh, sparrows. Yeah. Was that sparrow hunt. We did our first sparrow hunt here and y'all liked it. If y'all miss the invasive species hunting the birds, let me know down below. Me and Jordan would love to get back at them. And if you guys have not checked out Jordan's channel, I will link it down below. He started his own YouTube channel probably, I don't know, three, four months ago. Four. Yeah. four months and uh honestly uh, hey hey no homo guys i couldn't be more proud of jordan for sticking with it for uploading every week for being on a schedule like i told him he's been killing the game so if you guys haven't checked out his youtube channel again i will link it down below he does this he does a lot of trapping so and a lot of deer stuff way more deer stuff than i do oh uh, we're gonna walk so we're gonna walk we'll this walk row on both sides i'll go on this side we'll go on the other this is sweet let me clean my lens Oh yeah. oh yeah, bad deal. All right, we got the camera clean. Clean. Let's roll, guys. We're gonna walk this tree row. See if we can push a wascally wabbit right on out of here. Come on now, get out of there. Come on now. Well, nothing in that tree row. Gersh Dern. We're gonna try this one here. All right, we'll switch up. I'll go over here, let's push this one out. We got a handful of tree rows just like this one that we're gonna walk and try to push out. So, oh, something on the end I just seen go your way. I don't know what it was. Oh, I think it was another cardinal. Yeah, I see one or two anyway. Wascally wabbits. Where are you? There's one. Where? Going out front of you. Oh, he went your way. Went your way. Get him. Nice. He darted out right in front of me. And when I pulled up, I couldn't see him. He went your way. You get him? Yeah. Oh, he went all the way out by the pivot, huh? Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's a success. Thank goodness. Thank good. Pull a little aggressively, he may be missing some. <laughs> He got a little, he got a little aggressive. He's dead though. <laughs> Jordan got a little aggressive on uh, the uh, finishing of the rabbit. Is that a baby? Here we go. We got a little one and uh, Jordan got a little aggressive. With... I was excited. <laughs> hey, it happens, to, it happens to all of us. There's a lot of times that a goose won't die and I'm wringing his neck so hard and you know what happens. It goes boop. So the first time it happened, I'll hunt with you like Jordan. I was like, what? Like, we have a pile pick to do. <laughs> oh. Three birds missing heads. I'm like, Jordan, we can't do that. 
But if you guys are liking the video so far, smash the thumbs up button. This is a Thanksgiving hunt, man. The wives probably not very happy that we're out here doing this and not at home, but we're having fun. Well, Jordan, he decided to be a man today and he brought the youth, the youth model 20 gauge. But I didn't have to have a follow-up. Oh, but... there you go. That would have been bad. Oops. What is that, 1100? Remington 1100 youth model. Nice, that's nice, dude. It's, it's small, it's short, it's just fun. Yep. But y'all miss us out here doing cowboy things. Do you want us to go back to the cattle farm, the dairy farm, do any of the stuff that we did last summer? Let me know. Let us know down in the comments below, because we miss it. It was fun. It was fun. A lot of shooting for it. Well, got the camera all cleaned up for you guys. The rain has picked up, and uh, here we are at our third tree row. These tree rows, what's nice about them, y'all, is they're really small. They're extremely short. They're only about 100 yards long. Now, we are going to walk a tree row over here that's about half a mile long, so <laughs> it's going to be some walking today, boys. I thought I saw something move. I, thought, I think I saw something move up front here, right here. Really? I saw something move right here. That's some good hiding material under here. Real good. I'll be darned. I figured we were definitely gonna spook one out of there. No go. He might be in a pipe. I thought I saw something move, I ain't lying. Yeah. Oh, right there, right there. He's up here, he's up here. Go. Hold on, I gotta grab my gun. Oh, you don't even have your gun? Yeah, he's right here. Uh, stay right there. I'm gonna come back this way and push him. He's in here. I'm right here, don't shoot me. He's right in here. I'll push down on this side a little bit, see if I can push him down. Yep, he's right in front of me somewhere here. Ah. This is fun. Looks like he ran in here or something. Yep, there he is, two of them. I don't know if I hit him. Ran out up here. There's two of them. I shot at one. I don't know if I hit him. No idea. I had to shoot in the trees. Literally two foot from my foot. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Where'd they go? They, they rounded the corner and came back in here. Son of a gun. Rounded the corner came back in here I was at that corner and shot in the trees over by these pipes okay. I don't know need to go in here and see if I hit him but I would have hit him right in here look underneath the pipes this is where I would have smoked him but I don't think I hit him it was really a blind shot if I've ever done one <laughs> wow you can call them boys Houdini I don't know how they did it <laughs> well, well I've never claimed to be the best rabbit hunter in the world, but uh, they juked me. Well, we're gonna give it one last hoorah before we go to the next tree row. I think I kicked both rabbits into this tall stuff here, so we're gonna walk it out, see if we can spook them up. Give her a go, boys. Let's give her a go. This is the way that one ran, so he gotta be in here. All these tall stuff like this, gotta kick them walk on them well what i found at the end of that tree row you literally have to kick them out today they don't want to move it's cold and wet <laughs> they're going no I stay, at home. <laughs> I stay home leave me alone <laughs> all of a sudden you see this little white flag pop out yeah. just leave me alone shot on a rabbit i just turned the camera off like well it was worth a shot <laughs> i thought i smoked him right here i didn't I, yeah exactly 
we got through the tall stuff and I'm like, well, let's just go back to the truck. Boom, there he was. I took a shot, I thought I smoked him. He ran up here in the implements. Well, he ran up in here. He's probably underneath that big white trailer right there. We're gonna go around the back and see if we can push him out. I knew right when I hit the camera button to stop it, I'm like, bad idea. You know when stuff happens? When you turn it off. <laughs> well, the weather hasn't let up at all, huh? No, it's cold and extra wet. Watch, you know what's gonna happen now? No. You wear glasses uh... and they're gonna fog. That's what I've been dealing with. No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, I'm serious. Look at look at the flow. Look at that. Oh, but uh goggles, dude. Goggles. Uh I try to wear contacts. I do. I try. I really try, but they're so uncomfortable. They hurt. Uh, a lot of you guys know uh, I am a goggle wearing dude. I mean, it's just comfy, but one thing, wearing glasses and hunting as much as Jordan and I do, it's a pain in the butt whether it's raining, misting, uh you go from cold to warm, they fog up uh yeah it's fun stuff right but one rabbit down jordan got him with the youth model oh yeah golly good thing i only had one shot too <laughs> you only had one shot in? well because it didn't auto load it hung up ah so we're lucky we got one on the ground i have two swings two misses uh the last rabbit right when i killed the camera i'm like bad idea and literally three seconds later shoo, there he went we're gonna walk about a half mile tree row here. We're gonna warm up, we're soaking wet. Uh, we're gonna walk it, see what we get. After that tree row, stay tuned y'all. We're gonna go check the coyote traps. So- They're actually at the end of that tree row. Oh, they're at the end they're of the tree row. The so tree. we're gonna walk the so tree we'll walk row. walk up and then the traps will be at the end Ah, gotcha. So we're gonna walk the tree row and at the end of it, the traps are gonna be right there. So you're gonna take your pack and all your tools with you, huh? Probably not. Oh, you're not? Nah. Okay, we'll just show them then. Then Here we'll, we go. We'll well, here we are. We're at the tree row. Check it out. Half mile long beast. Um, there's a still a pipes up ahead uh, that has a trail. That's where the trail starts through the middle of this bad boy. Jordan said there should be. I'm gonna put it on you again. Sorry. There should be plenty of rabbits. There are. It's just will we see them or not? They're holding tight today. Yeah, they are holding tight. Last tree row we went on when we started. I'm like Jordan said there's plenty of rabbits here to shoot. He's like, don't put me out there like that. And there ended up being, heck, we saw four. So this one has a lot of rubbish in. It's a lot thicker. I mean, a lot. And there's a lot of these implements and stuff. So rabbit like that. You know what I mean? I'm right here on your right, boy. Don't be shooting me. One thing, rabbit hunting with someone else, just always know where your, where your buddy's at. You know what I'm saying? Always know where everybody's at. Just don't go spraying and praying, not knowing where people are. That's important. One thing is uh, to never get too ahead of each other. Where are you at? Oh, there you are, okay. Just always stay parallel to each other. You know what I mean? Don't ever get too ahead of one another. And there should be no issues. Man, this tree row is really, really thick. Like, really thick. All right. Now we're starting to clear out. Alrighty, here we go. Boy, howdy, that was thick for a little while there, son. It's brushy. <laughs> it's brushy. Um, here we go. I'll let you walk the middle path here. I'm okay. This outside edge is pretty thick too. Right on. They like. Don't shoot the hawk. That'd be a bad deal. Oh um, yeah, hawk. There's hawks and owls in here. And gotcha. Coyotes and all sorts of fun stuff. Hopefully we shoot a coyote. Year, Hopefully we shoot us a coyote, boys. But again, guys, we've walked, I don't know, about 200 yards. Again, we're always staying beside each other. Stay right in the line. That's important, just like pheasant hunting. Like I said, all know I like to preach hunter safety, gun safety. Got to keep it in mind, guys. What if you went out hunting on a holiday and didn't get to go back? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I hit him. I don't, I don't think I did. He kept going. How far back you think? Uh, keep going. I'm going to check right here. I don't think I hit him. That was a blind shot. That was a blind shot. I was vlogging. I was talking about gun safety and he came charging out of there. Keep going. He's right here somewhere. Man. 
Every time them rabbits pop up, dude, I'm not ready. I am not ready. Ah. Well, I wasn't ready for that when I was preaching gun safety. He came ripping out. So I'm going to start turning on the camera. I'm going to shut up and hunt. So guys, just please be careful out there. Keep your gun on safety until you need it off. Put it back on when you're done. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're good. Let's get him. I'm ready. You keep pushing. I got a pretty good view. Oh, there he is. There he is. Ah, he's definitely dead. <laughs> no, I did hit him. Oh, uh, yeah, you hit him. He was wounded. I think you him. <laughs> so that rabbit was wounded and he was walking around. I just seen him. Haven't cut the camera. That was a little bit of tag team action. I, I'm pretty sure he wasn't moving when he shot, but he moved two feet. Yeah, I moved him a good two feet. He's definitely that boy dead. Yep, go ahead. He's gonna push the rest before we go grab him because that is a huge pile. I bet there's multiple rabbits in here. Here he is. 12 gauge rabbits, full choke. Uh, probably should have put in like the open cylinder or something today at least. Wouldn't have hurt. I should have brought the 20 gauge. This is what I should have done, but yep, here he is. There he is. Look, I shot him here. Shoved him all the way back there. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. There he is. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not going to show the other side of him, but there we go. What do you think? He's a bunny. He's a thick little bunny, isn't he? Yeah. I can feel on the other side. I haven't looked at him, but I can feel my fingers. I'm looking at it. I think my fingers are inside of him yeah, on the other side. <laughs> well, we walked the entire tree row out. We're at the end of it where the traps are and check it out here. Here's Jordan's set here. Here's one of them. I don't want to get too close to it and leave a scent. Probably don't matter that the bait that you have in there is probably pretty strong. It's isn't pretty it? strong, but the more human scent around the trap, the more wary they get about it. Right, right. Here's a second one here. Have you caught them on both of these? Yep. So you caught one and one? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So here's his other one. Look at his little set that he has here. He's got a tree. And here is a set. What style of traps are these? These are coil spring Victor number threes. Gotcha. That is alien language. <laughs> <laughs> what what language did you just speak? So, um, you know, I'm going to get into some trapping. Still got to buy my fur bear license today. I'm going to get it done. Uh, but we're going to go buy some traps. We're going to go buy some licenses that I need, some bait, everything that we need. We're going to go and get. So stay tuned for the trapping videos. They're going to be awesome. Uh, it's one of them things where we'll be able to set some traps together and if Jordan's at work during the work week and he can't get out, I'm going to go check him. So the traps will just trade out and, and, and work together and check them every day. So if you guys like that, let me know down below if that's something that you're interested in watching and if so, just stay tuned like I said. Well, we are home. Oh, look who's waiting on me in there. See you, Fred. Oh, and Bodie in there. Oh, hi. Oh, are you helping mom cook, Bubba? Hi. Good morning. Hi, buddy. Oh, just like the video says, it is Thanksgiving morning. I'm just now getting home. I forgot my GoPro in uh, Jordan's backpack. So he's actually bringing it. I was like, hey, if you have some time to bring it, I have stuff to give you. Oh, I got a Job for Jordan, a duck's lanyard and a bunch of ducks gear that I just don't wear anymore. Beanies, got some camera batteries for them that I don't use, and a ton of ducks hats. I'm like, hey, if you could just bring it, I have a lot of stuff I need to get you. So, all about Thanksgiving. Isn't that right, babies? It's all about Thanksgiving. Ooh, Harper, did you decorate the tree? Yeah. You and Mommy did yesterday? It looks amazing. You did great. Bubba. I said to that. Oh, you took a nap while they decorated? Yeah. Yeah, I know, buddy. Oh, hey there, lovely. What are you doing? What are you cooking? Taters. Ooh, what's that? Oh, we got I some rolls. It is Thanksgiving, and Daddy. Mama is cooking. Let me tell you what. Easy with the knives, Mama. Look. And look, everybody's hungry. They're just waiting around. Even old Frederick. It's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, look at that. Looking awesome, babe. Good job. Thanks. You guys hungry? You gonna be ready to eat? Yeah! 
yeah. Papa's oh, and, coming over. Oh, Papa's coming over? Awesome. Yeah, it's his birthday. <laughs> it was his birthday a couple days ago, wasn't it? We're going to celebrate yeah. Papa's birthday too today. Well, I'm going to uh, put the camera down. I'm going to go downstairs and I am going to edit up this video on Thanksgiving. So I really hope you guys appreciate today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. Enjoy it. Stuff your bellies. Oh, but like I said, Ducks is doing a Black Friday sale and it starts today. Today is 25% off all t-shirts. Tomorrow is 25% off all hoodies. Saturday is 25% off all hats. Sunday is 25% off duck calls, goose calls, and lanyards. You don't want to miss a sale. I will link it all down in the description below. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell if you haven't. It will notify you when your boy uploads. But a big happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. We really do appreciate you guys. Thank you all for being here in our household. Y'all are part of our family just like our real family. So we truly appreciate you guys so much. Ready? One, two, three. Hold on, say happy Thanksgiving, ready? <laughs> One, two. Uh, happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Happy, happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving.